Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to be doing a little project over here in our breakfast nook area. This empty space has been bothering me for quite some time and so I finally wanted to get this area done and I've had a few ideas of what I wanted. So I've been on the hunt on Facebook Marketplace and our thrift store for quite some time looking for a piece that would fit here and last night at like 11 o'clock at night somebody posted this buffet that's what i want to call it but it was listed as a vintage sideboard and they listed it for only a hundred dollars so i wrote her immediately and we picked it up the next morning like i said i've been looking for something for a very long time so i was thrilled to find something that fit here perfectly i wanted it to be like a workspace that we could put our toaster our blender things that we actually use in the space that it would just kind of make sense over here so the height was perfect the size was perfect like the dimensions couldn't have been better and i just think with all the storage i can add extra silverware and dishes and cups and just so many things that i have been having trouble finding storage for in my kitchen will just fit perfectly in this buffet. The next thing I wanted to do was add a couple of shelves above this buffet. And again, I want this to be styled really cute, but also functional and to use pieces that I would be using over here. So I just picked up these boards that were pre-cut at Lowe's. They were $11 a piece. I ended up grabbing three of them total. So I have two shelves and then I got another board just to chop up and use as the brackets so we could build our own brackets. And then I also want to include one of those shaker peg rails beneath the shelves. So moving on to the peg rail, this is the extra piece that Thomas cut up off of one of the other boards. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint this white. By the way, the white I'm using is just like a regular white that you can just buy in the can at the store. So there's nothing added to this. It's not like a special color. For the pegs, I actually ordered these on Amazon and I love these because they came with a screw in them. So I just feel like this was easier to DIY because it had a screw end. And that way Thomas was able to just do a little pre-drilling and then he was able to just screw these right into that board. So moving on to the brackets, this is the design that I wanted. So I just had him figure out the dimensions of how this would go beneath the shelves. So he is just pinnailing them together and then he got a 45 degree cut on one of them to do like an angled piece of the bracket. So something else I wanted to talk about was how surprised I actually was that we were able to do this whole corner here 
for under $150 just because of inflation and the way everything is going right now. I feel like the cost of everything is so expensive. It's still nice to know doing it yourself, you're going to save money. If you're searching for secondhand things, you're also going to save some money. And for me personally, I think that there's a lot more charm in those old vintage finds. You can always find items that you're looking for through thrifting or Facebook marketplace and you'll save a ton of money doing it that way. As far as most of these pieces go, they are from Home Goods. So you will see some things that I have actually shown you guys in previous videos, like some of my Easter decor I've included here. I just need to get some extra things. And for now, for this video and styling, I thought I would just pull some things from around the house to just make it a little bit easier for me. But most of the things on this top shelf are from Home Goods and they are new but I will be sure to include a list of all of these items and where they are from in the description box below. So here is the reveal. I feel like this area looks finally complete. I love it over here. I feel like when I walk into our kitchen from the hallway, it finally looks complete and it's always kind of looked like a little bit of an eyesore over here in this corner. So I am just really happy with how this turned out. I'm excited for all of the different holidays to be styling it different. I'm sure that this is an area I will refresh consistently, probably once a week I could be swapping some things out here. So if you are not following along on Instagram, I do upload a lot more frequently there as far as pictures and stories and all of that. So if you wanna go follow over there, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet hit that red subscribe button, make sure you do that and we will see you in the next video. For each day, am I the only one lost in translation where nothing makes sense anymore?